yo what's up guys how's it going good evening and or good morning or whatever time it is for you Ho hope you're doing well what's up everybody uh we're gonna jump back into the yuan shu campaign uh i have not played since so i just got back from gdq uh two days ago a day ago or so haven't played in about a in a, about a week maybe a little a little less than a week a little more uh, something like that so it's gonna be a little tough for me to get get back going here, but uh, I have I do have something to entice me to keep coming back to this. I just got the blood DLC, so hopefully, hopefully as we continue this campaign, I have to kind of pick up the pieces where we were. Hopefully, we have some bloody battles. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm still committed to trying to finish this campaign, and hopefully, we can get it done. I'm also currently uploading another episode right now as we speak. So hopefully I can get that up tonight or tomorrow morning or something. But yeah, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what was going on. It'll probably come back to me as we play. Let's do it. Let's do it. Start the game already. Get on with it all right so let's see holy shit are we at war with this guy uh you do not know this army are we at war with gong do uh we are not at war with gong Du. okay it's like that's a, that's a large army right next to me okay who we should probably begin with finding my armies like where are all my armies we've got an army here all right so i think i was I think I was in the process of wiping out somebody. Bing Ping Yu, I think. Yeah. I think we're in the process of attacking and getting rid of Bing Ping Yu. I think we're at war with... Well, let's see who we're at war with. Who are we at war with? Uh, Zheng Zheng. We're at war with Zheng Zheng. Where is Zheng Zheng? So Zheng Zheng is over there. We're at war with Bing Ping Yu. Uh, who has does Bing Ping Yu have any territory at all? It it doesn't look it. <laughs> I don't think they have any. We're at war with Han Chong, who has territory over here. Is this a Han Chong army? It is. So we're likely gonna come to blows with this army. And Liu Zhang, who I think I don't think I've ever even met uh liu zhang once on the battlefield yeah he's like way down here We've, i don't even know why he's at war with me okay let's go and find all of my armies income is very strong so that's good let's see i've got an army up here am i at war with liu bei no I'm not, I'm not it would tell me if i was not at war with liu bei we definitely have some liu bei territories near us but uh, i don't know if i want to go to war with them just yet uh let's see so we're probably gonna go send where are my other armies and an army here okay, it looks like this army was uh reach was training up and getting ready for battle this is like my best army i think i was trying to retrain some of this yeah, i'm pretty sure i was trying to retrain this army as much as i could uh let's see we'll just leave it for now i don't want to fuck with it too much um okay so it looks like our major threat at the moment is han chong over here so we're gonna start sending this army uh looks like i guess this army had just fought over there well that's actually bing ping you right there do I have any armies that can move out? No, it looks like all my armies are paralyzed at the moment. So we're gonna have to fight this army. Pretty strong army right here. It looks like it's in, uh, coming into our territories. Everything is quiet in the east. Uh, no problems in the east. So pretty much all of our problems are west. I'd like to send this army to go deal with uh, Zhang Zhang, who we are at war with. Uh, we'll wait for this army to finish retraining, though. All right. Um, I don't think there's nearly anything else we can do. We captured enemy capitals. I do have some money. Perhaps we should spend some money here and build something. 
Uh, do any of my... I have plenty of food. Okay, so this one's at 1.1 million out of 1.3. Let's go ahead and expand this city. I think we're going to need it. Uh, you don't want your population to too greatly exceed your uh, the size of your buildings here. I could maybe start taking some of these settlements from the Han and continue expanding westward. That could be smart. We'll, we'll wait for now. My, I don't have that great money right now. All right, so we're probably going to come under attack uh, right over here in uh, Jin Cheng. What's the garrison like a Jin Cheng? I wonder. That's the silk trader. So right here, pretty strong garrison. No spears, though. All right. Well, let's uh, see how it goes. So we actually captured and executed Guan Yu, but we didn't capture Liu Bei or or the others or Zhang Fei. All right, getting under attack. Under attack in a lot of places. Looks like Bing Ping Yu's attacking me with some garbage army over here. Uh, this is not worth fighting. We're just going to delegate this one. Not a battle worth fighting here. Although I would like to, I would like to see the bl the the blood. <laughs> I gain an ancillary. Let's just go ahead and recruit. Like somebody leveled up. I'd like Gong Du to just get the fuck out of my territory. Would be nice. Oh, well, I kind of thought Han Chong was going to attack me over here. I feel like the smaller your army is, the faster it should be able to move. And the larger your army, the slower it would move. But that doesn't really matter in Total War games. But, I don't know. Call me, call me crazy on that one. All right. Let's see. Some succession. Uh, enemy have begun a siege. Uh, wait. Enemy left their siege equipment. Uh, we can do it. To destroy um, move men away from rebuilding repairing the fences can be done uh do it sure why not so we let loose we let loose a rock slide and uh, I guess we did some damage to them there at she he we gained a craftsman Looks like uh, this dude leveled up. Let's see. I think is this guy my cavalry commander or no? I actually don't know. Um, endurance, fatigue resistance, uh, charge speed for his retinue. Flexibility. Ooh, let's maybe we should go with flexibility. That sounds pretty good. Um. Honestly, any one of these would be pretty good. Let's go with uh, Endurance. And then we can go down this way for Vengeance and Vanguard and stuff for this guy. Okay. So we're under attack at Shi He. Right here. It looks like a relatively small army. And uh, the garrison's pretty strong at Shi He. So we should be okay. But I really... I really, really need to strike out against Zhang Zhang for sure. This army is completely ready to go. Let's go ahead and send this army out. I don't really care about the... I don't care about this guy's diplomatic penalties. He can he can fuck off. All right, we finished the large city at Hidong. That is nice. Uh, let's see. That's more food production, more income. It's hard. It's hard to say goodbye to food. It's. I think it's better to just have excess food at all times. Honestly, I think that's what you want to do. Okay, this army is basically retrained. We're gonna pop these guys into March. And I'm gonna try to come to terms over here. It's gonna take me a couple turns to get there. I need to get over here to go fight this. Uh, Han Chong army. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, let's see. Faction section, character developments, friends, mission success, and rolling boulders. All right. Where are my other armies? 
Uh, this army will be finished retraining soon. Um, I think I think I can probably rely on this northern army with Sun Se to go take out uh, here and go take these these towns. Um, maybe I should send this army down here to start claiming these. I don't know. I could also send another army up north to start taking cities from Zheng Zheng. Honestly, one army would probably be enough to deal with Zheng Zheng. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... Ooh, who's this? Oh, well, Liu Zhang actually has an army relatively close to the border. We haven't really seen much of him. So Liu Zhang actually does have forces over here. Yeah, this is all Liu Zhang. I think he's carved that all from the Han Empire. So we should probably go strike out back against Liu Zhang wherever we can. Uh, let's... If I wanted to attack Liu Zhang, it would be quite, quite a journey. All right, we're gonna go send. Uh, we're gonna go send my faction leader over here to take this one. It's gonna be expensive to annex these territories, but uh, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we were on our way to annex it, but we it, we just canceled it. Okay, well, we, hopefully we'll get a battle soon. We get something nice and bloody going. You know, I'm going to start sending this army this way. Because while I go deal with that army, this... While I go deal with the army in the north, this army can go take uh, their capital. And then we'll hopefully can like just completely control the northwest. And have done with that. Yuantan is certainly no friend of ours. Um, I don't know how this is going to go. They may siege me out before I even have a chance, but I do have an army en route. Can I uh, force march my way through here? The sooner we can get out of this guy's territory, the better. We don't want to. We don't want to hang around here too long. All right, I suppose we're going to end a turn and see how things go. Liu Bei is still uh, marching armies around my territory. He didn't learn from the actual ass whooping I delivered him. Okay, we are being attacked in Shi Uh We actually have a pretty decent shot at winning this. Let's go ahead and start the battle. And see how it goes. Oh man, I hope it's super bloody. <laughs> I hope it's omega bloody. All right. Well, I kind of miss playing this game. So uh, Mario Maker 2 is out. I've been playing a fuckload of Mario Maker 2 on stream. I'm going to be playing Mario Maker 2 a lot for the foreseeable future. Uh, but I do still really, really like this game. And uh, I'm not done playing this game. At least not until I finish the campaign anyway. Okay. Let's uh, arrange our forces here. Put two of our spears over here. Uh, let's see. I think these two archers here. Keep uh, some of our men back in reserve. Uh, do we have any more forces? Is that all we have? Maybe two spearmen over here is a little much. Ah, eh, we should we should be sufficient on this side. So I'm not sure what's going to happen on this side. I think they're going to charge here is what they'll do. Uh, and I'm going to bring these spears out as soon as I know I can. All right, let's uh, begin the battle. My men are ready to go. And we'll see how it all turns out. Hopefully super bloody. Give me blood.
It's like we're making some weird movements. Enemy is retreating for some reason. Pulling back from the walls. Uh, not really much I can do. Why does it say allied troop count? Like, I don't, I don't understand why the allied troop counts are so weird in the bottom right there. I wonder why that, what that's all about. I think they're out of range of my towers even. So I, we can't even get any tower kills. And that's, that's pretty impressive. Well, I mean, they have to attack. They attacked me, so. Um... Let's go ahead and move. Um, uh, maybe just one would be enough. Whoa, how'd these towers burn? What happened there? Somehow I lost, uh, I lost my towers on this side. Oh, that's not good. Okay, looks like they are moving in to attack on this area. It looks like they're moving to attack on this side as well. Kind of almost looks like they are trying to hit me really hard on one side and ignore me. Let's see. I wonder if we got any blood coming out. Blood. Give me blood. There's no blood. None of blood. Oh, uh, it's like they're trying to burn my towers out. They are indeed attacking me on this side. Hopefully the blood DLC is in. Hopefully I didn't fuck that up. Oh, this, uh, this archer militia is going to get a lot of shots in on me. Unfortunately, we'll go ahead and draw them in. Honestly, I'm just looking for blood. <laughs> just looking for blood. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll, the blood will pick up once we get in the melee range. We can only hope. I may have to check to see if blood's actually on. Oh, there's some blood. I see. Oh, there's some blood. We got blood. We do have some blood. Blood. Okay. Entered battle with the enemy. Um. And I want to get some close-ups here because I want to see the blood in action. Is there a way to turn it up to like comical levels of bloodshed? Is that a possibility? Okay, we are rear charging into their forces here. Uh, this side I think isn't going great. Some of them are wavering. Um, it's like the bulk of their forces are retreating. Yeah, where's like the slider where I can turn up the blood to like 1 million? I want 1 million blood. Somehow one of their axe bands got through to my archers here. Not really sure how that happened.
Let's try to get some close-ups in here. Oh, there's definitely some big piles of blood here. I'm hoping to see like, where's like a dismemberment? Oh, did you see the blood spray? That was sick. I want to see like decapitations and shit. Oh, there's got to be some decapitations, right? Like, what are we even doing here if we have no decapitations? Completely, it's, we completely surrounded that unit. Uh, I don't know, man. Looks like this unit has returned to the fight. Should throw them right back in. be a major disappointment if I lost this battle. Some of my men are routing. I don't know. It looks like it's going to be a close one. If we can kill their general, it might come down to killing their general here. This axe band got completely surrounded and is still fighting on somehow. Uh, let's see. Oh, they might, they might be, uh, they might be getting ready to run from army losses, honestly. Uh, they've broken through on this side. That's not good. Well, even if we do lose this battle, uh, which it looks like we're actually about to, we, we, un we outnumber the enemy, but that's not going to be good enough. Unfortunately, uh, if we do lose this battle, the good news is that we, uh, we have an army on our way here it's on its way. We can probably retake this area pretty easily. That is a lot of blood. <laughs> that is a lot of blood. At least we got to see some nice blood, right? That's the good part. I'm not sure really what I could have done differently. I think, I don't know. We, we actually still might win this. It's really hard to say. These kinds of battles can really go either way. It's just a, it's just a matter of uh, our, whether our troops route or not. This, I don't know how this axe band just ran through my forces, but they did somehow. Who knows how they did that? Oh, well. It was going to be GG. It was kind of smart of the AI to attack me over here uh, where I had no towers. That really fucked me. Maybe I, maybe I should have just let them come in here and fought them right here. That was probably a mistake of me, honestly. If I had done that, I probably would have fought them with these... Uh, with my arrow towers giving support. Man, this axe band was surrounded on all sides. There are archers for sure, but they got surrounded on all sides and they weren't able to win. Pretty brutal. I think we should probably, wait, wait, where is this unit? Whoa, where has this unit been? Where the fuck have you been? You could actually like turn the tide of battle. <laughs> I forgot about this unit. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Please don't route. It says they're eager. Dude, imagine if I win. If I if I use this 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 troop, I forgot about. <laughs> It charge him. Come on, kill him. They're right there. These guys are fresh. They I forgot about them. Kill him. How did I forget about these guys? Oh, that guy got stabbed. Oh, sick. I still think that sh the blood seems pretty good in this game. Shogun 2 had the best blood, dude. 
the shogun 2 blood was so good like heads flying off big sprays of blood that was the best man yeah i don't think we're gonna win this especially with the cavalry coming in but i don't know this uh holy shit that axe band got 265 kills what the fuck holy shit how the hell did they do that 83 70 yeah man they got me good yeah i don't know it says they're exhausted my guys are very tired already i kind of just want this battle to end honestly <laughs> let's just speed it up it's going to be kind of a grind out here i i don't i don't i still don't think we're going to win this we're fighting g militias axe bands still eager apparently This is, this is even in like quadruple fast forward and it's still not fast enough. <laughs> As they're shaking. Oh, one of them routed. If that axe ban, if this axe ban would just fuck off, then we'd have a chance here, but. Uh, I, th yeah, I, think, I think we're probably about to route ourselves. We're down to confidence. Yeah, this axe ban really fucked. They got a lot of money's worth out of this one axe ban. Ooh, wait, hang on. Well, we routed that axe ban. Now if we can kill their general, maybe. Kill the general. Don't route. Don't be shaken. Kill the general. You guys got spears. Kill him. There he is. Is the general wavering? Oh, the general just routed. I've got 43 men left. <laughs> Did we really just win? Get the fuck out. No way. I think all they have left is this archer militia. Oh, the blood splatters on the ground look really good. So they're kind of coming back from routing over and over. We did kill their general at least. Did we win? Did we actually win? <laughs> oh, a lot of their dudes are coming back. It's these archer militias just refuse to go down. Anytime three kingdoms. I got, I got, I'd like to do other things aside fight this battle. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this one unit. I forgot about this unit that I forgot about that unit. And that one unit was the key to victory. Well, there you go. Fucking a man. One unit was the key to victory there. That was really stupid. That was really, really stupid. Well, I actually kind of like that the AI did that though. That I like that they attacked where I was weakest. You never know what to expect with the AI, honestly. Sometimes, sometimes really stupid, sometimes really smart. All right, enemy kill. Let's go ahead and recruit for replenishment purposes. We're getting attacked by Bing Ping Yu. Uh, this is a garbage army. We can just delegate this one. This is not worth our time. No point in fighting that one. Ooh, what is that? I wonder if we've like eliminated Bing Ping Yu yet. Sure hope so. All right, kind of expected we were gonna get attacked by Han Chong here. Uh, looks like a really large battle is about to ensue. Uh, let's go ahead and let's fight this one as well. 
This is one of those turns where I'm just defending like 5,000 sieges over and over and over. So they have a lot. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four units of archers to my four. I guess we're we're actually... Wait, one, two, three, four, five units of archers. Never mind. They do outnumber our archers. Uh, we have... How many entry points? Four entry points. Get attacked. I don't think we're likely to win this. But uh, I don't know. You know, stranger things have happened. Let's go ahead and move our men forward just a bit here. Three units of archers facing this way. Um, we got units of archers facing this way. I don't know where they are likely to attack or defend from. I don't know where we should actually send our troops. Where is my saber? The saber infantry is the best infantry I have at the moment. Um, I think this part is unlikely to be attacked. Let's go ahead and start the battle. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, it looks like they're coming right at us. Archers of open fire or archer towers rather. And we will bleed them as much as we can before uh, my main forces arrive. You guys may want to fucking run here. <laughs> I think if I were in you guys' position, I'd probably run for my fucking life. But, you know, that's just me. Looks like they have no fire arrows. So that's going to be really good for us. It means that they can't shoot down my towers and they have to take the full brunt of my archery here. Okay, archers are fighting over there. Let's go ahead and try to focus down this archer militia, prevent them from firing any more than they already are. We're gonna send the saber infant or the saber militia back this way. All right, that unit's about to rout. Yep, they just routed. We're gonna shoot our our arrows in here. And who knows? Who knows how this battle is gonna go? Still at a major disadvantage just on numbers. Let's go ahead and shoot this general, Shu Ba. We're probably very soon gonna run. Yeah, we're running out of ammo right now as we speak. Uh, I don't know why these guys are running in. It looks like this one ran out of ammo. What, what does this one now do? 4% ammo? Send this guy in. Shu Ba dead. We got a pretty nice thing going for us. We actually may have won this battle. Uh, 
They attacked me like exactly how you do not want to attack. It looks like we've actually won on this side. Uh, our arrow towers can take care of the rest. And pull our forces back. Uh, yeah, looks like we actually won this battle. Attack repulsed. Pretty clean victory for us. Uh, yeah. The smaller cities are actually easier to defend, it feels like. Man, look at this blood. <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't even want to fucking play Total War games without blood, really. Like, why is that even, like, an option? Just give me blood. Like, you know, I don't know. Attach it to the, attach it to the, the price tag if you must, but... Just give me blood immediately when the game comes out, honestly. That archer unit got a... Wow, the the archers got a lot of kills, man. A lot of kills on the archer units. Well, that's a, that's a weight off my mind that we don't have to worry about losing a settlement up here to this guy. We killed one of their generals as well. Oh, we could hire this guy. Unobservant, minus four cunning, direct, dutiful charge reflect interesting uh we're gonna go ahead and execute this guy <laughs> one's uh not worth keeping he doesn't see he's not a very good general Looks like Liu jang is still sort of uh encroaching on my territory here it's weird that soon john just kind of lets him walk all over his land it's a little weird It's like uh, some faction somewhere has ex it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, we gained a new. It looks like we gained a horse. Oh wow, this is the one. Oh wow, this is the one we took from from that one. Yellow hoof thunder, plus forty charge bonus, five expertise, ten resolve. Wow, forty charge bonus. We got the Wei Lao Ji. Interesting. And a black stallion. Ping Ping Yu was killed in battle. Uh, completed some more buildings, and that was the horse we gained. All right, so this army is on its way here. All right, so we're going to take uh, Shang, Shang Dang next. Uh, next turn. I really don't like this fucking Liu Bei army just wandering around my territory. I really don't like that. There's also a Liu Zhang army right here. Is Liu Zhang and are, are Liu Zhang and them even at war? All right, I can't move out to I can't move to start annexing the territories here because I don't know if I trust the Liu Zhang army down here, and I don't know what Liu Bei is going to be up to either. So I have to keep an eye I keep, have to keep an eye on everything. I kind of want to just fucking annihilate Liu Bei, just get him out of here. Is there a reason why I can't? He's at war with Gongdu. He's got three trade partners, but that's it. He's got no allies or anything. I think what had happened was for Liu Bei, I think what happened was is that he like, I don't know, something made him, something made it be peace between us. I don't know. Maybe I should wait for him to make the first move. Anyway, I'm just gonna put, uh, and there's just like Liu Bei armies everywhere in my lands, which is not my favorite thing. <laughs> this army is still retraining. Uh, we're going to send this army up here to go take Jin Cheng. Um, this army is kind of keeping an eye on everything. Oh, I can upgrade. So I, I wanted to upgrade the garrison at Luoyang because Luoyang, Luoyang comes under attack a lot. Go ahead and uh, upgrade this garrison a little bit. An even stronger garrison. I don't know. They, they still might starve me out if it comes to blows, but. Uh, this one already has a garrison. 
Let's see. Got income from peasantry, 25% income from commerce. If I have income from commerce, can I build an inn? I guess I already did. Uh, let's go ahead and build the tea parlor. Let's go ahead and build that there. That army is just going to be in enforced march. Uh, I didn't want to go to war with Liu Bei immediately, but I really feel like I just need to get him out of here. We'll see if we can delay. He's probably going to be the one to make the first move on us and we'll respond. Uh, but anyway, we're on our way to go take Jin Chang and hopefully crush uh, Han Shang and take, go take Wu Wei. What land is this anyway? Unknown. I guess it's just not part of my lands. And I'd obviously like to take An Ding and Shou Fang are obvious targets. All right, I guess let's go ahead and end a turn. End a turn. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Liu Bei to just, just fucking attack me. It's, it's honestly looks like it's about to happen any moment. Uh, looks like they are back for round two, attacking the same place. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and start the battle because if I if I let them do it, they're gonna they're gonna give them the victory. So I guess I have to do this. Hopefully my towers are all back. I really hope my towers are back. Once the AI gets an idea in its head, man. What is this? Why is this here? Hard to get that idea out of their heads. Oh, maybe that means they were like reinforcing or something. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and put these guys here. These guys here. Uh, all my arrow towers are returned to me. Good, good. All right, I'm pretty sure that's the best we can do. Reinforcements are arriving there at the very edge of the map. It's going to take them a while to get here. Towers are getting some shots in. All the arrow towers, uh, fire arrows have returned again. I'm going to try to reburn my towers one more time. Discouraged by ability. Oh, did they set the tree on fire? They did. <laughs> so silly. If I uh, concentrate fire here, I could probably knock some of them out quickly. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna burn. Uh, they will indeed burn some of my towers. At least one of them. Their men will drop like flies to my archery, though my arrow towers that is all right oh we're just gonna wait for them to come in closer uh the fire shouldn't be too bad Reinforcements still arriving. Uh, my, we haven't even started fighting them yet. And they've taken a lot of losses. It's mostly just their archers are dying, though. Settlement itself is on fire. That happens pretty often.
I think as long as some of my towers survive, uh, we should be in good shape. I kind of want to get a close up of the fire. That's a pretty good looking fire in terms of graphics. Pretty good looking fire. Uh, I wonder what the fire will... The fire is definitely going to spread um, in the city. I wonder if it would spread to the towers or not. Hopefully it does not. Yeah, they've only got the one unit of archer militia left. I think this tower can't actually shoot them. I think. Only this one can. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if I'm shooting them anymore from my towers. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it looks like we are. I'm glad the reinforcements didn't come in from this side. If they come in from this side, that probably would have been enough to just defeat me. They all come from the front. I probably have more of a chance. All right. This archer militia has got a couple men left. They're finally routing. Uh, we can probably divert our attention to... Can I even command this tower anymore? Huh. Why doesn't it let me... Is it because it's burning or something? No, it just doesn't let me. Huh, weird. I don't know why I can't give orders to that tower anymore. Well, we're going to shoot their general. And hopefully that's enough. You get a nice route going. I wish there was a way to like get your men to brace. I think bracing like that is an ability some men have. I think it depends on your general's uh your general's perks. So if your general doesn't have the perk for bracing, they they like won't. But it seems weird that like men with spears will just like not get ready to defend. Seems a little weird. I don't know. Ooh. It looks like they're attacking on this side. Uh, we're going to move my spears that way. I think this side we should have okay. I'm going to try to run over here to defend this side as best we can. Looks like it's going to be close. It kind of looks like they turned back a little bit. We just want to fight them in front of our tower so we can maximize the amount of damage our tower is going to do. Looks like it all worked out for us. Yeah, our archers are shooting over the walls or over the over the mountain rather. Uh, these men routed. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Uh, let's get our tower to make sure we're shooting their vanguard. I think the vanguard units uh, are especially good at fighting troops. Is their like gimmick? That's like what they do. All right, we uh, routed their vanguard. I think all their generals' units have now routed. It's a nice bloody action. 
Hey, nice blood spurts. Oh, the head. Somebody lost their head. You guys see that? How did he lose his head? Oh, I didn't get a good look. All I saw was the head flop out. <laughs> Damn it. I wanted to see that. I paid good money for that decapitation. Show me it again. All right, GG. Another victory here at Sheehy. Damn it. I, didn't, I wanted to see the full animation of the decapitation. This is bullshit. <laughs> All right, hopefully we can just eliminate Zhang Jiang forever. Because she is a nuisance. Okay. Another victory. We only lost 79 men. Wow. It's actually kind of absurd that we only lost that many. Uh, Gongdu still kind of wandering around my territory. I'm not sure. What is he doing? Who is Lao Zhu Meng? I don't know who you are. Han Chong's running away. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. Is he going to cross? I can't tell. <laughs> it looks like if he continues going north, he's right into my territory here. But uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, Lao Zhu Meng. I don't know who that is. Lao Zhu Meng declared war on me. This army is declaring war is... Uh, trespassing they've been trespassing this whole time more diplomacy okay oh we have a new tech we can go invest in a new tech here it'll take me a while to get over there to han chong's territory uh just enough time to retrain though one more turn and we'll be fully retrained uh, this army is on its way. We're going to still refrain from declaring war on Liu Bei. Let's go take Shang Dang. Pop us out of that form. All right, this, this is predicting a decisive victory for us, but it says we're going to have medium casualties. So we're going to have to take this battle and do it ourselves. Let's uh, begin the battle. So if we don't, we're going we're gonna to pay for it. And we, we want to continue moving forward and take more of these territories. If we take massive losses, it's not going to benefit us. Yikes. Tuoba Yang is pissed off, man. <laughs> man, when you're loading, when I'm loading, the encoding in OBS, like, loses its mind. Oh, wow. so we're actually on an open. This is farmland. Wow. We're on an open field. An open field, Ned. Ooh, we have turtle formation. That's so good. A Dothraki horde on an open field. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's gonna put our cavalry here. Let's go and put them in the wedge formation. We have flaming shot. We do. Joyous occasion. All right. Let's. Uh, what is this crossbowman? Just crossbowman. Okay. Trebuchet is opening fire. Hopefully we have enough time to get our uh, spearmen into shield wall or turtle formation. Our archers have opened fire. Let's 
手就是势如旋风，万箭齐发。Let's go, swing our cavalry over the hill. 剑士准备。An order the charge. I was a little slow on my uh, in my orders here. Let's go ahead and cease fire on the trebuchet here. Looks like many of them have broken. Looks like their attack has fallen apart and they have lost the battle. Holy shit. <laughs> who's still fighting? There we go. Like, wait, who's still fighting? Uh, that was that was just a massacre. That was just a massacre. What are, the, are these? The oh, that's the general Yud Bosch. GG. Victory is ours. Decisive victory. I wonder how many men we even lost in that battle. No, my uh, rapid tigers got some nice kills. Cross, wow, the crossbowmen are not to be underestimated. 145 kills, that's no joke in that amount of sh that short amount of time. A lot of kills from the crossbowmen. 108 losses. See, if, if I had taken medium losses from them, uh, it would have been a lot more than 108, I can tell you that. Right, so we're now in charge here. Let's go ahead and upgrade this to our grain estates. Okay, that's like the first I feel like that's the first settlement I've taken in forever, honestly. <laughs> like it's been a while. We're gonna continue taking uh Zhang Jiang's territories here. I think our next target to be Tai Yuan or Shang Dang here. I wonder if I should risk the wrath of Sun Jian. I'm gonna make my way south, and I I don't trust this uh this this army this Liu Zhang army. So I'm gonna make my way south, and we're gonna try to deal with that. I don't I don't like the way it's looking at me. Hmm, now what do I do with this army? I really would rather not instigate a war with Liu Bei right now. We are at peace. I don't know. Let's let's uh I guess we'll keep Sun Sei up there. It feels like kind of a waste, but let's see. What should we build? 25% food from farming, 6,000 population growth. Uh 50% food from fishing, 2% replenishment, military supplies, military supplies. Plus three public order would be nice. Income from commerce, uh, building upkeep, trade influence, uh, minus ten percent character salary. Hmm, tough choices. Public order would be very nice. It would also be nice to work towards this to get that unit, whatever that unit is. I think I forget what this unit is. Azure dragons. Yes, yeah, so they are heavy glive and bow infantry. God damn it. I want that. I want them so bad. All right, let's go and take share cropping so we can get this one. <laughs> Cause I, I really want this unit. <laughs> I really, really want it. Uh, a little bit of a part of me is tempted to raise another army somewhere. I'm slightly tempted to. Uh, I think we're going to I think we're going to delay. 
Delay momentarily. What is this? Ar what are these army doing? There's like an, uh, a Gong Du army somewhere doing something weird. I think they're in forced march. Like over here somewhere. Yeah, what are they doing? Oh, they're in the they're in they're in camp. Why can't they just fuck off and leave my territory? That's that's the better question. Why can't you just get out of here? Um. All right. As soon as I deal with this Liu Zhang army, I'm gonna leave Liu Zhang be for a little while. I think. Um. Is this all Sunja? No, this is Cow Cow. I want to deal with this Liu Zhang army, and then I, I don't know. I don't even know if they're gonna cross the ter the border. And then I want to send up here, and so I can I can reinforce this area. And try to defend because I think Liu Bei is like I just need to kick Liu Bei the fuck out of here because he is just a goddamn nuisance. But uh, anyway, that's probably a pretty good place to stop this episode. We've already been going for a while. Uh, let me save my game. We are at 88 turns. Let's uh, make sure we're saving. And uh, this is the extent of my territory today. Uh, making some good progress. 89 turns so far. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. I hope you enjoyed watching the uh, Yuan Shu campaign. More Yuan Shu campaign to come. Uh, and still having a lot of fun with this game. So hope you've been enjoying. Uh, I know it's kind of slow progress sometimes. But hey, you know, it's all part of the... It's all for the greater good. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. It really does help me out. Uh, thank you guys very much. And good night.